how do we walk into sermon at such a time like this? You know, that is the, the one of the best questions I think we could be asking ourselves right now in the body of Christ, because as you mentioned, Anna, there's information, disinformation. Uh, I really believe the enemy is running rampant in this. There's a fear campaign. You know, so many people are living in fear. Unfortunately, it's hooked in to many in the body of Christ. I, I'm watching this. You're watching this. I mean, all you have to do is scroll through social media and you can see the diversity of people's feelings and opinions. And much of it is fear based. So uh, and then there's there's accusations. We know that the word of God says that the you know the enemy Satan is the accuser of the brethren, and so it's you know if somebody's making a difference, they're out there, you know they're standing for righteousness. There's a pretty good chance that they're going to get accused at some level. I know I've experienced it. I'm pretty sure you've experienced it. Most people listening have probably experienced it, especially if you're standing. Um, so you know we have to really I, I call it like a spiritual minefield. I think one of the most key things that we can be praying for right now as a believer is discernment. Lord, give me discernment. So how do we get it? How do we get it? So I talk about the scripture, Psalm 91 is such a key and pivotal scripture to me. It says, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide in the shadow of the almighty. And so I, I'd say, you know, it's this time in the secret place. You know, how much time are you spending in the secret place? How much time am I spending in the secret place? Because that's where the Lord, you know, I was up at three o'clock in the morning last night. The Lord woke me up and he was just downloading stuff to me, like things that I would not normally know. And I asked the Lord, you know, and this is through years of just, you know, understanding how to, you know, pray and, and seek the Lord's heart. Because when I first started praying, I used to just ask the Lord for a bunch of things. It was almost like a, a wish list, you know, Lord, please let this happen. Lord, please. And, you know, as I've kind of grown and, and understood the Lord more, you know, he wants us to inquire of him. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. And so he, it's not just us asking, it's us inquiring of him, spending that time in the secret place. And when we do that, he gives us spiritual discernment and wisdom of things that honestly, I could never have known. I mean, he gives, it's so amazing. Like it's such an advantage to a believer, and this is being spirit-led and understanding how to discern, it is the biggest advantage you could ever have because there's going to be times when things look or sound really good, and we're going to think like, yeah, that's God. And then, you know, if we're inquiring of the Holy Spirit, we're spending time in the secret place, and all of a sudden the Lord says, no, don't do that, or don't, you know, align with that person, or don't go on that show, or don't, you know, whatever he's telling you to do. And, and these are things that I would never have known if I didn't spend that time in the secret place. So to me, that's the key. If, you know, I would highly encourage every person listening. This has been such a benefit and a blessing in my life. But if you can spend time in the secret place every single day and, and just inquire of the Holy Spirit, whether it's at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, in your prayer closet, wherever you can go to kind of get alone and spend time and inquire of the Lord. You can do it with, you know, if you're married with your spouse, you can do it with your, you know, your friend. But I would say it's it's even good just by yourself is probably the best just because, you know, it's that special time with the Lord. I go hiking, I go by the river, you know, we have a river where I live, so I go by that. I mean, there's different places where you can get alone, but wherever that is, spend time with the Lord and you're going to get that that information that you would not otherwise get. 